And we will start with Brendan Shaker, KMOV. Tyler, after the strong spring training that you had and then trying to get acclimated this season, talk about the frustration of maybe feeling like you had that injury crop up and not being able to go out there and showcase what you were doing and then the gratification to be able to go out and do what you did today, hitting a couple of homers. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, back in spring, I was seeing the ball well, uh, putting good swings on pitch in the middle of the zone and uh, just started to expand a bit a little uh, at the beginning of the, of the season. So, um, you know, I was... Was able to take a little reset and uh, you know take a step back and uh, just identify what I was doing and um, you know just try and stay within the zone and put good swings on on good pitches to hit. Rick Hummel, Tyler, what sorts of adjustments did you make against Castillo today, concerning you hadn't had a hit off in your career? I mean, I was just trying to see a good pitch in the middle of the zone. Um, and put a good swing on it, like I said. You know, I've been doing a lot of work in the cage and, uh, you know, just doing my due diligence and identifying what I need to do there and how I need to, uh, you know, go about my, my work ethic and my routine and pregame and everything like that. So it's just translating that into the game and, uh, you know, taking care of business. Would you talk about the fly ball you caught in the gap there? Uh, you cut in front of the center fielder. But did you, was that your ball all the way in your mind? Um, well, you know, it's loud out there, Rick, and, uh, you know, shooting line drive like that in the gap, uh, you know, time dependent, you know, we both are on full sprints and, you know, barrel down to go get the baseball, uh, late in the ball game, you know, we can't let it drop. So, um, you know, I was, I was going for it. Uh, didn't have enough time to, to look over at Scotty, uh, top spinning line drive there. And, uh, you know, he was going for it. I was going for it. Um, you know, thankfully he looked off just in time and was able to see that, you know, I was there at the last second. So, um, you know, it's not necessarily my ball or his ball. Uh, if he calls it, you know, center field obviously takes priority, but what matters is that the ball was caught and uh, no damage was done. That's not a time to hesitate, is it? No, you uh, never want to hesitate on the ball field, that's for sure. You know, you got to play with instincts out there and, uh, you know, trust your training. That's something we do real well here in the at, uh, in the organization is, uh, you know, we get after our work ethic and uh, we know exactly how, uh, how to go about our business. Jeff Jones, Global News Democrat. Tyler, the, the two balls that you hit out today, one's a sinker, one's a slider, and they're both to the second base side. Uh, they're, 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 they're the second base side of the outfield. Is that a pretty good indication of when you're seeing the ball well and feeling it well, but it's you know a couple of a, a breaking pitch and a sinker, and they're both kind of the other way, maybe instead of being this ball heavy? For sure, yeah. Um, you know, I was just trying to see a pitch to hit, like I like I said earlier, Jeff. Um, you know, just trusting my hands, letting it get a little deep. Um, you know, just trying to stay as balanced as I can out there, and uh, you know, again, just just trusting my work ethic, my routine in the in pregame preparation, everything like that. So. Um, you know, I was able to put a couple good swings on a couple good pitches, and um, you know, when I'm shooting the ball to right center like that, that that means I'm in a good spot. Garrett Gould. Hey Tyler, just something you said there, I wanted to follow up on real quick. That, that going the opposite way with that, that doesn't bother that you kind of let the ball go, travel a little bit more, that you give yourself a little bit more time. Is that a rather significant change for you? Is that do you think one of the advancements you've made over the last couple of years is to be able to do that, to give your time that? Pit? to give yourself the time to pitch, to recognize the pitch. Right, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, you got to know know what your strengths are, know what your weaknesses are as a hitter. I mean, we all have them. And, uh, you know, I definitely feel like I can let the ball get a little deeper and uh, just throw hands, you know, different situations too. You know, just coming up through the minor leagues and the big leagues, you know, I've had success going to center field, right center field. You know, it's not necessarily hitting it the other way, but, um, you know, you can just uh, just getting good pitches and throwing the hands and, again, trusting, trusting the pregame preparation, things like that. Uh, you know, everything's directed that way. So, um, you know, just try and stay as balanced as I can in there. And um, again, just get a good pitch to hit is the most important part. Thank you. Okay, last one for Tyler. We'll go to Susanna McCann, MLB.com. This was your second two run uh, game, two home run game that you've had in your career. Is that just a matter of, you know, reading the pitcher really well on a certain day, or are you just in your groove right now? Yeah, I mean, uh, Baseball is a, it's a very interesting sport. You know, there's a lot of a um, lot, lot of ways things can go differently. Um, but you know, it's it's all about trusting yourself, trusting the pregame routine, preparation, everything like that, and um, you know, not trying to do too much. And um, you know, again, like I was just trying to trying to throw my hands at a good pitch today, and um, you know, able to do that and backspin some stuff up the gut. Great. All right, 
Everybody good with Tyler? Thanks, Tyler. Thanks, everyone.